I'm Sam, editor of Bitesize.ph. Ang main ingredient natin for today is 1 kilo of ground pork or giniling na baboy. So before we start, if you like hacking as much as I do, don't forget to click that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for more episodes. Ang giniling na baboy ay galing sa pork shoulder or in Tagalog, kasim. Pwede nyo siya bilhin sa grocery grill na kagiling na. Or you can go to the palengke, hanapin niyo yung pork na gusto niyo at pagilingin niyo doon. For the full market or grocery list ng recipes na ginawa natin today, you can check the description box below. So ito na ang mga dishes na lulutuin natin today. Each dish only takes 15 to 30 minutes to prepare. Ang kailangan niyo lang gawin is prepare some of them ahead of time para hindi mahirapan. For breakfast, it's pork and beans with toasted bread. Lunch is tortang talong. For the veggie side, you have gising-gising. For veggie and noodle side, it's miswa patola, bola-bola. For your soup, it's picadillo soup. Dinner, arroz a la cubana. And for merienda, pandesal sliders. So first, we'll prep the ground pork mix for two dishes. Yung meatballs para sa miswa, tsaka yung burger para sa sliders. So ngayon, ang ating ingredients will be yung nadinivide natin na dalawang ground pork, pandesal na generate natin into breadcrumbs, onions, garlic, egg, don't forget your salt and pepper. Just mix everything up. You can use your hands if that's what you're comfortable with. So make sure everything is well incorporated and well mixed. After we mix it all up, just cover it, put it in the refrigerator, and let it sit there for about 30 minutes. So ngayon natapos na natin gawin yung ating ground pork mix. Gigisayin naman natin ang ating pork. Yung four portions of our pork na gagamitin natin for four other recipes. Yun yung ating arroz a la cubana, picadillo soup, tortang talong, at saka yung pork and beans. So first we heat our oil. So very basic naman yung pag ng ating ground pork for this step. Ang maganda lang dito ay napapadali yung recipes natin later on na pare-pareho lang naman yung ating gagawin. Which is yung pag ng ating onion and garlic at pagdagdag ng bay leaf at saka yung pagluto ng ground pork. Ang maganda pa dito, if you store it in a tightly sealed container and put it in your refrigerator, you can use it for one whole week for your different recipes. Just make sure malinis yung utensils sa gagamitin niya pagkukuha kayo ng portion. So, ang unang dish na lulutuin natin today ay ang arroz a la cubana. So, the ingredients for this dish are yung ating ginisang ground pork, paprika, carrots, patatas, green peas, red bell pepper, at saka tomato sauce. Time to cook! So, naginit ako ng tubig ngayon para pakuloan ang ating patatas. Para mapabilis ang pagkulo, lagyan nyo ng asin yung tubig. Mapapabilis din ang pagluto ng patatas pag may asin. So, pahabayaan natin kumulo ito hanggang mawala na yung water. So, tatakpan natin to para mapabilis yung paglambot ng patatas. Kailangan mas opaque siya. Okay, so, let's let it evaporate. Okay, let's add na our cooked giniling. A bit of oil para lang di dumikit. And always, when you add na your pork and you have paprika, it comes next. Para lumabas din yung flavors ng pork natin. Since you seasoned this na earlier, you don't have to season it again. So, now we add our bell pepper and our tomato sauce. Now you have to check pa rin if the taste is okay with you and you can still season it if you prefer. So at this part, you can add raisins if you like raisins on your arroz a la But if you don't, you don't have to add it also. Let's add now our green peas. We added this last because it's already cooked from the can. Mix it a bit and then konting kulo and you're done. Ayan, that's our arroz a la Next up naman is tortang talong. So yun lang naman talaga yung basic ingredients niya. Your two eggs, salt and pepper, cornstarch, eggplant, and yung ginisang giniling. So we now season our egg with salt and pepper and we beat it. Dagdag na rin natin yung cornstarch. So the reason why we're using cornstarch is para mas madali siya mag-bind with our eggplant. And then we grill the eggplants. You can do it directly on the burner or on a charcoal grill. Mas masarap kasi siya kapag meron siyang smoky flavor. So ito na yung ating gineril na eggplants. So from here, you can just flatten it with the fork, dip it in egg, and then put the meat on top when you're cooking it. Pero para mapadali din namin ang buhay niyo, we're gonna do it in a different way. We're going to turn them into patties. So first, we're going to remove the stems. 
And then we'll start mashing them all now. So we're going to add this into a bowl together with the ginisang giniling and our beaten eggs. Let's mix it. So let's fry our patties. It's like making pancakes lang. You can choose naman to just pour it directly from the bowl or you can use a ladle para mas maliliit siya na sizes. Just guide it with your wooden spoon para bilog na bilog siya. So just repeat that until you make several more patties. So that's our tortang talong patties. So the next dish I'm going to make is picadillo soup. The ingredients for our picadillo soup are yung ating ginisang giniling, repolyo, kamatis, patatas, at chicken stock. Okay, so we're going to add now our oil at saka ang ating kamatis. So nero-roast or pinapan-fry natin yung kamatis para lumabas yung kanyang natural sweetness. Tatakpan natin siya ngayon parang mapabilis yung paglambot niya. So, we'll mash this lang para lumabas pa yung flavors niya when we add our stock. Dinagdag na natin ngayon yung ating giniling na ginisa natin earlier today. So, add your chicken stock and our patatas. So, early at this point, dapat nilalagay na natin yung patatas para lumambot siya. So, ang sabaw, mas masarap siya kapag mas matagal na pinapakuluan. Kaya, ang pinili natin mga cuts ng vegetables ay malalaki. So, now, luto na ang ating patatas. Pwede na natin idagdag yung repolyo. Mabilis lang maluto ang repolyo sa so mga 1 to 2 minutes lang and you have a dish na. Picadillo soup. So yung pork mix na pinapare natin earlier today, hati na natin siya kayo sa dalawa to show our miswa, bola bola, and also for the burger sliders. So, ang ingredients natin for miswa katuala bola bola, so yung ating ginawang bola bola, stock, miswa, ginger, patis, garlic, onion, at patola. Okay, let's start cooking. So now, we're heating up the oil. We'll saute na our garlic, onion, and ginger until aromatic. Lalagay na natin ngayon yung ating chicken stock. So for this one, dapat simmering lang siya or very gentle yung pag-boil niya, small bubbles. Para pag dinagdag natin yung meatballs natin, hindi sila mag-break. So now that we have a gentle boil or simmer, we can now add our meatballs. So dapat gentle lang din ang paglagay para hindi sila masira. So we'll just let this simmer until maluto yung meatballs. Alright, we'll add now our patola. So we'll just let the patola cook. Then after that, we'll add our miswa noodles. Once the miswa is already in the pot, mabilis na siya maluto. At yan ang ating miswa patola bola-bola. The other half of the pork mix na ginawa natin into burger patties, we can prepare into a merienda. Pandesal sliders naman. So the ingredients for our pandesal sliders are, of course, yung ating prepare na burger patties, pandesal, lettuce, cheese, and tomatoes. So we're heating the oil now because we're using lean ground pork. Mas kailangan niyo ng more oil on your pan. Make sure also na you slightly press on it para it won't lose its shape. So when you're making your burger patties, mas maganda na high heat muna para mas sear yung outer layer niya. And then once mas sear mo na siya, you can lower the heat para continuously maluto yung loob. And it also depends kung gaano kakapal yung meat niyo. So we're now ready to assemble our pandesal sliders. So first you take your pandesal, pwede mo siyang i-lightly toast. And ito na slice ko na siya. Ang importante kapag gumago kayo ng build ng burger na walang dressing, unahin niyo yung lettuce. Para lahat ng juices, ng burger at ng ibang mga ingredients na sasala niya at hindi na absorb ng bread. Hindi siya magiging soggy. So, we just hand tear it, or pupunitin natin gamit ang ating kamay. Ilagay natin siya sa ating bread. We get the patty na niluto natin, and then we add our cheese and the tomatoes. You can use a toothpick to hold it. See? It's so cute! So there, pandesal slider. Pwede ka rin makagawa ng vegetable dish that you can serve for lunch or dinner. You can even serve it with fried fish para healthy naman. We're going to make gising-gising. So the ingredients for this recipe are, of course, yung ating portioned out na ground pork. 
sitaw, coconut milk, coconut cream, ginger, siling labuyo, siling haba, onion, bawang, at bagoong. You can also add salt and pepper. So let's start! Alright, so magigisa na tayo ngayon ng ating garlic, onion, luya, siling haba, at siling labuyo. Kailangan talaga maraming sili. Kung hindi, hindi ka magigising. So yan, nagka-translucent na yung ating onion. Naamoy ko na rin yung sili, pati yung ginger. Okay, so now let's add our pork. So again, we're using lean ground pork or hindi mataba na pork. Kaya maigi na use a non-stick pan o kaya mas maraming oil sa inyong pan. Okay, so now we're going to season our meat with salt and pepper. So it's important you season your pork early on para manuot talaga yung lasa sa pork. Kung hindi, if you season it later on, it will still taste bland na may asin on top. So now we're going to add our bagoong and coconut milk. If you're allergic to shrimp, you don't have naman to add the bagoong. It's really just to add that umami taste. So at this point, ang kailangan lang natin gawin is to reduce the coconut milk. So the reason for that is para talaga maging extra creamy and yummy yung dish niyo. Now na nag-reduce na yung ating coconut milk, we can increase the heat and add our sitaw. So ang kailangan lang natin here is magbago slightly ng color yung sitaw para you know that's halfway cooked. Tsaka natin dadagdag yung ating coconut cream. Which, by the way, you cannot cook for very long or else maghihiwalay yung oil niya from the milk. Wow, so creamy! Kung gusto niyo naman siyang gawing kid-friendly, you can opt to remove the chilies. Of course, hindi mo na siya pwedeng tawag yung gising-gising, but at least ma-introduce niyo yung vegetables to your family. And that's your gising-gising. Ang huling dish na lulutuin natin today is a breakfast staple that we all love. We're going to make pork and beans. The ingredients for our pork and beans ay a portion of the ginisang pork na ginawa natin earlier today, water, paprika, tomato paste, chorizo, sugar, at white beans. Okay, simulan na natin. Ang unang gagawin natin is yung pag-render ng taba ng ating chorizo. So maganda dito, Dahil sa may fat na yung chorizo nyo, you don't have to add oil na to the dish. So now we're going to add our tomato paste. Alright? Naamoy ko na yung sweetness ng ating tomato paste. Let's add na our giniling. So some paprika for some spice. It's not naman really that spicy for kids. It's really just to bring out a bit of the heat. Now we're going to add the water. Just enough to cover the pan. Let's now add the beans. For the white beans naman, we already got it canned from the grocery. Para it's already cooked and soaked. Pero kung gusto naman makamura, you can buy it sa palengke. Mas matagal lang yung cooking time kasi kailangan pa siya i-boil. So we'll season it now. Di ba pag pork and beans, gusto natin manamis-namis. So we're gonna add some sugar, pepper. And before you add your salt, make sure you taste it. And then we're gonna add a bit more water para mas masabaw. Alright, so that's done. That's how easy it is to make your pork and beans. So there you go. Nakita niyo naman na basta tama ang pagkuplano at paghahanda, you can make 7 dishes good for 2 people out of 1 kilo of ground pork that you can even serve for the whole week. And you know what? It only took me less than a day to do all of them. So click that like button, hit that bell so you'll never miss an episode, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Sam, editor of Bitesize.ph. Samahan niyo ko ulit sa susunod na challenge.